welcome back. Uh, so in this session, we are going to talk about some additional topics and we are going to talk about the T-Box automation modules. Now there are several automation modules which are present in the standard subset provided by Tosca and uh, you can use them for um, many uh, general operations when you are uh, working with your test cases. So these are kind of a library which is available to you and you don't need to write any additional uh, tests for uh, performing all these operations. Now we are going to talk about some file operations, folder operations, uh, numeric operations, and some process operations, which are uh, available in Tosca T-Box automation module. So uh, let's get started uh, first with the file operations. So for that, I have created a folder in my test cases, T-Box modules. And in this, um, I'm going to create another folder called file operations. Okay, so inside this, uh, we are going to see many operations which you can perform on different files using this T-Box automation modules, okay? So uh, we'll first start with image compare, how you can compare two images, right? So T-Box has provided a module for it and we can use that. So let's add a test case here and we'll say it compare images. Okay. And then I'm going to add a test step, which is nothing but a module. So I'm going to search T-Box image compare. Okay, so that's the module. And once you add them, you will see, uh, you just need to provide uh, two things here, first image file path and second image file path. Okay, so either you can browse it or you can directly copy paste the path. So I'm going to browse the path. I have a folder where I have two images, you can see, right? Both look different. So I'm going to compare uh, these two images using this particular module. Okay, so that's all uh, we need to do here. And then um, I can directly go ahead and run this in Scratchbook. Okay, as expected, uh, the verification failed uh, because the images were not same, right? So that was the expected result. And moving on to our next uh, T-Box module, uh, and that is on how you can create different files uh, in a particular folder using uh, the T-Box module, right? So let's call it create files, okay? And then, I'm going to add the test step. So let's search for T-Box create. And that's the third one, T-Box read create file. So you can use the same module to read or create new files, okay? So let's select the directory. Um, I will use the same directory which I have created. So this one, and then we have to give a file name here, okay? So it is the name of the file. So I'm calling it test1.txt. And what text do you require in this particular file? You can even create that or you can write it to the text file, okay? So I will call it, this is a test, right? Uh, for creating files. And then uh, we have to provide uh, encoding. So you can either provide UTF-8 or UTF-16, okay? So let's go with UTF-8. Overwrite, I will set it to true. And add byte order mark, I will set it to true, okay? So uh, these are uh, the values which you need to provide when you are uh, going ahead and adding this particular module. Um, and let's go ahead and run this now. And once it is finished, you will see uh, it has created a test one file in this particular folder, right? Scratchbook uh, will show the past result 
and uh, as you can see the folder where we have given the location as it has created a file uh, with the text what we have provided right so it's easy to uh, create any particular file using this right and uh, let's go ahead uh, and see what other modules are present for uh, the t box automation module for file operations right so the next uh, automation module uh, which i can use is copy file right so now i have created a file let's see how we can copy file using this t box module so again um, let me search for t box copy file okay and i can give a source and a target directory right so let's take this as the source okay and then um, let's go ahead and let's copy this into some other folder okay so let's go into c samples and then uh, i have to give a target file name okay so i'll call it test2.txt and overwrite i will set it to true right okay so let's go ahead and run this right let's uh, go ahead and check this now i am in the c samples folder as you can see and uh, now i can see that a test2 file has been created here okay so that's how you can copy any particular file not only txt files you can also copy xml files right so any files uh, within your directories and now uh, let's see how we can compare two particular files using a tbox module right so this could be useful whenever you are trying to compare files right for whether they have the same content or not it's a very common scenario in your test cases so this could be uh, very useful right so let's see tbox compare file compare okay similar to what we have for images uh, this is for files okay so i need to give a uh, first file path and a second file path okay so let's copy this particular file and create a new file here right so that we can test it and uh, let's go ahead with the same content here and let's rename this file to test2 okay so let's compare these two files now test1 and test2 and uh, we will keep this as the same folder so c and training okay so let's go ahead and run this now right uh, so in the log info you can see it is showing that contents of the file are identical right so we can also go here okay so as you notice uh, there is no report file generated because both the content are same right so let's go ahead and change uh, something in our test one file right and save it okay so uh, let's go ahead and uh, run this again and this time around we should see some report saying that uh, it's not matching and what's the difference okay obviously uh, the test case uh, will fail because the verification has failed okay but let's go ahead and check the report so you can see uh, it's a html report and uh, it will show you uh, something highlighted in red that this is what is not matching okay so this is the additional content um, and uh, or this is the missing content in the second file okay so it is showing in red so that's the kind of report uh, you can get if you're comparing two files, okay?
So our final test automation module in this file operations is how to delete a file. So let's uh, rename this test case to delete file and let's go ahead and add the test step. So search for tbox delete file. And let's select the folder here. Okay, so let's give it a file name here and it should be test1.txt. That's the file I want to delete. So let's go ahead and run this. And that particular file should not be present here now, okay? So that's how you can delete files uh, and that's how you can use different tbox modules in order to perform different file operations like comparing images, comparing files, creating files, copying files, deleting files. There's also some other tbox modules which you can um, try for on your own, uh, which are like you can read the files as I showed you. Uh, you can also move, rename, and uh, you can also append uh, to a particular file, okay?